may know her as the host of Up All Night or from being scantily clad in several magazines. But she is a very uh, special entrepreneur from women's shape aware. Let's welcome Rhonda Shear. So, Rhonda, tell us what it's like being a woman. I know I'm a woman because, well, I just know. I have all the parts. I have indoor plumbing. I've got two words for you that are probably one word. Shapewear. I love it. Mrs. Claus loves it. Tell us some more about shapewear. I had to wear a lot of uncomfortable underwear and things that made my boobies look big and my tummy look small. So I thought it would be good for the masses for me to produce that at a very lovely price. That's how I did it. I use shapewear to contain my dark soul. I find it like an extra set of skin that protects me, but also shields the world from my emotional carnage. All right, thank you, Herbie. That was completely unnecessary. Oh, my shapewear is really good. I mean, Santa, I don't want to say anything. Um, it is 2023, and you could use a little shapewear, you know. I mean, the Kardashians all use it. So, Rhonda, tell us about your book. You know, it's called Up All Night, Rhonda, and it's a little bit of naughty and fun and stories about Hollywood, and I mix it up with being an entrepreneur, and then I tell all my Me Too moments when guys were trying to get in my pants. Oh, Santa, you'll love it. You've tried to. What's your favorite color? Multicolors. So, you know, I like red when it goes into blue and then blue when it goes into yellow. So I like, you know, combinations of colors. What are some of your favorite foods? Uh, I like alpines. I like oak trees. I like weeping willows. I like pecan trees, which is a tree and a nut. So that really floats my boat. When you are having an intimate moment in the boudoir, what are some of the words that you say? Gingerbread, flour, and sugar, almond flour, and then I would have icing on it. Yes, this show is sponsored by Mucinex and Viagra. Don't get snotty, get naughty. Brought to you by a Mucinex and a Viagra. Two of them together, man, you got a night to go. Someone gifted you a set of magical dwarves. What would you name them? Burr. Freezing. Chili. Wood. What are the voices? What are the voices of the children and the animals? What are the screams of the silent subculture, of the abused and downtrodden of society? Rhonda, this has been excellent. Is there anything else you'd like to add to this conversation? We went to a furniture store and then somehow we opened a door and we were on Mars. And it was like the weirdest thing. But I mean, and I'm not, it wasn't like a dream sound. It was like we were really on Mars and we really just went in there to buy a couch. We couldn't breathe because there's no air on Mars. So, But somehow I could breathe. It was really bizarre. Rhonda, it has been a pleasure. Thank you for giving us all the entertainment and joy over the years. We've certainly enjoyed it. Bye, Santa. Bye, Santa. You're the best. I love your beard. Ooh. Hey, Gringo, what are you doing Valentine's Day? Nothing. Ah, what about St. Patty's Day? Nothing. Arbor Day. I'm going to sit in a chair with my pants off and read the mail. By the way, I got a new book coming out. You guys need to buy it. My Christmas balls jingle, just like my boy Chris Kringle. It's time to put those balls on the Christmas tree while singing Christmas songs. Oh yeah, your Christmas balls. Jingle balls, jingle balls, jingle all the way. There's nothing so special as your balls every every. Now's the right time to take them out and sing Jingle balls, jingle balls, jingle all the way